Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at a very um, nice spear. It's one that I've always enjoyed finding whenever I do my little solo cell found runs, because quite honestly, it's an excellent mercenary weapon. Uh, it is the Razor Tine Trident. The Razor Tine Trident is 13 to 22 damage. Not exactly very high, but it is also level 12, so keep that in mind. Uh, it has 24 dexterity requirement and 38 strength requirement, which is low enough that most mercenaries can utilize this. It does have very fast attack speed uh, because it has 30% increased attack speed on it, uh, which is a very, very nice effect to have on a spear because you want to attack uh, really as fast as you possibly can. Um, especially when it comes to your mercenary, you really want them in there just working their spear. And uh, Mr. Nini decided he wanted to take a nap, apparently. <laughs> So uh, we have 50% uh, enhanced damage on this, which does vary from 30 to 50%. Uh, we also have a very nice effect on this of negative 50% target's defense, uh, which is going to mean that most monsters that you come across when you're wielding this or when your mercenary is wielding this are going to be reduced in defense by 50%, which is pretty massive. Um, it means that you're going to have a lot easier time hitting them with this. Your mercenary is going to have a lot easier time hitting with this, just in general. Uh, we also have slows target by 25% on this, which is an amazing effect, which can actually stack up to 80%. Uh, it doesn't stack right on top of each other, so like if I was wearing another piece of equipment that was like 50%, it wouldn't stack to 75 What it does is, is one applies at 50%, and then the next one applies on what's left at 25%, and like it, uh, it is cumulative up to a goal of 80%. And it can stack with other effects in the game, like for instance, Holy Freeze, is, uh, is a slowest target by effect. So if you had a Holy Freeze Mercenary who was also using a Razor Tine Trident, you would have a very nice slow target effect. Um, the slow coming from the Holy Freeze and the slow coming from the Razor Tine Trident would stack together. And when you utilize this on monsters, you will notice the monsters attack really slowly in return. It's a very awesome defensive mechanic for your Mercenary too, because any target that he's attacking is going to have a lot harder time hitting him because they're attacking so slowly. And um, uh, Clay Golem also has this effect, uh, slowest target buy. Uh, Decrepify also has the slowest target buy effect. I mean, it, there are a lot of items in the game that have this effect, and it's a very nice effect to have. Um, you can effectively um, completely kill bosses' um, ability to fight back with slowest target buy. I've actually slowed a boss so much that literally it would take him like a full 30 seconds to use one ability. And... Um, it's amazing. Now, slow's target buy does not work on casting, though, so do keep that in mind. So if you're trying to use this in PvP and you're going up against a sorceress, it will slow her run speed down, but it will not slow her cast speed down. So keep that in mind. I've never understood why slow's target buy doesn't work on casters. Uh, it also has 15 to strength, which is amazing, because that's going to make it so that your mercenary can utilize more armors and, uh, and helmets. Um, and it's just a very nice effect to have. Uh, we also have plus 8 to dexterity on this, which uh, really doesn't do a whole lot for your mercenary, uh, because the only dexterity that he needs is on a weapon. Uh, but it is going to give him a little bit of attack rating and a little bit of extra... Um, defense as well, which is not bad. Of course, you can socket this, and a lot of the times I will actually socket my Razor Tine Trident when I find it. I will throw an Amrun in it, and a lot of the times I will upgrade it one tier, uh, because it is a very effective uh, low-tier Merc weapon. Um, if you happen to find an Ethereal version, though, it's even better at 19 to 33 damage, with only 14 dex and 28 strength requirement. Now, we're going to upgrade these, and, uh, and I'm going to show you how uh, good they go when they upgrade at least one tier. Now, I don't think these are good to upgrade two tiers, and there actually is a Nightmare replacement for this. It's called the Kelpie Snare, um, and if you happen to find a Kelpie Snare, it is a better version of this item. Uh, but, you know, you don't always have the luxury of being able to choose exactly what item you're going to have. So, uh, we're going to take this, and we're going to upgrade this to the second tier. So, it's going to go from a Trident of uh, 13 to 22 damage... 24 strength, 38, sorry, 24 dex, 38 strength, level 12, to the Razor Tine Fushina, which is 28 to 55, 25 dex, 77 strength, level 29. Uh, still very easy to equip on your mercenary, and uh, it's going to give him a pretty nice amount of damage along with some very nice effects, which are going to make him stay alive. The, the slowest target buy helps him stay alive. The uh, negative target's defense means he hits more, and if you've got lifesteal on him, he's going to hit more, which means he's going to stay alive. Um, and in general, it's just a very nice, fast weapon to put on these uh, the, the mercenaries to keep them up. 
Uh, now, the ethereal version is going to obviously upgrade a little bit better because it's 19 to 33 to start out with. Uh, 14 dexterity, 28 strength, and level 12. And that is going to go, of course, also to the Fushina, which is 14, 42 to 82 damage. Uh, has 15 dexterity, 67 strength, and level 29. So a very nice level 29 pole arm that you I'll can throw on a mercenary, which is going to give him around 333 to 481 damage. Um, not bad at all. Now, we can upgrade this another time, and I don't necessarily recommend upgrading this to the highest tier. I would recommend that you find a Kelpie Snare, uh, which is the superior version of this um, this particular unique. I mean, it's it literally, it's like a replacement thing. Like, the Razor Tine, Fusion, the Razor Tine um, Trident uh, is literally like the lesser version of the Kelpie Snare, but the Kelpie Snare is a lot higher level. You're more likely to find a Razor Tine than you are a Kelpie Snare. But if you do find a Kelpie Snare, uh, it's an absolutely great item for mercenaries as well. Now, this one also can be upgraded and then turned into an Iron Golem, which is a very good choice um, because it does have the slowest target buy, the negative defense, uh, the increased attack speed, the dex, the strength. All of it makes for a very nice Golem. Um, the slowest target buy also kind of turns them into a Clay Golem because Clay Golems also have the uh, the slowest target by effect so it's kind of like a way to have your iron golem uh, and uh, and still have the effects of the clay golem for the slowest target so keep that in mind so let's upgrade the uh, razor tine fushina uh, with the alum a pull and a perfect emerald this is going to go from 28 to 55 25 dexterity 77 strength level 29 to 43 to 216 97 dexterity requirement, 168 strength, which is pretty high, and level 61. Not a terrible upgrade, but I probably would not do that. Uh, let's do the ethereal version next, which is uh, 42 to 82, 15 dexterity, 67 strength, level 29. And that upgrades to 64 to 324, not bad, uh, with 87 dex, 158 strength, and level 61. Now, this one I could actually see doing if you had it and you just didn't have any other item for your mercenary and you were just kind of desperate for a good weapon for your mercenary. I could kind of see this. But the Lum and the Pull really is quite expensive for, for that upgrade. And uh, and I just don't know if it would be worth it. Um, maybe if you were solo cell found and you just had no other weapon for your Merc. But I do feel like as an online player, you've got lots of other choices, especially Kelpie Snare, which I would definitely recommend over the Razor Tine Trident. Um, really, the Razor Tine Trident kind of falls off when you get to the end of uh, normal difficulty, and you kind of have to replace it with something else to up the damage. And that's really kind of all there is to it. And don't get me wrong, because I do I do love a good Razor Tine um, early on in the game. I will often find myself a very good Razor Tine, uh, specifically for the purposes of uh, putting it on my mercenary early game and, uh, and letting him have at it. Uh, I mean, the negative defense, the slows target by, and the, uh, the relatively fast attack speed on this just, just works out really, really beautifully. Uh, but let's take a look and see where we could potentially find this item uh, so that we can get an idea of, um, you know, what monsters to kill if we want to farm one. And, uh, and it's, it's a pretty easy item to farm. I think I've found uh, tons of them over the years. But let's, uh, let's go take a look, shall we? So, uh, Razor Tine uh, Fushina... Or sorry, Razor, Razor Tine Trident. And uh, it's a level 12 item, so let's look in normal difficulty. And we're going to assume we have 0% magic find because we're just starting out, right? We're a, we're a brand new character and we really want to get our hands on a Razor Tine Fushina. So uh, according to this, uh, normal Diablo and normal Bale are really high chances. Uh, normal Duriel is actually a pretty good chance. Unfortunately, Duriel does tend to troll with um, Scrolls of Town Portal. But if you're uh, farming the tombs anyway for EXP around this level, um, you could definitely kill Duriel a couple times and hope that he drops that item for you. Um, the Summoner also doesn't have a bad chance. It's interesting. Uh, so let's take a look at Super Uniques. Mr. Nini wanted to go inside. He likes to take naps in my shirt. He's, he always, he's always in there. Uh, the Cow King in normal difficulty. Uh, Bone Ash in normal difficulty. And the Cathedral. There you go. That's that's your ticket right there. Um, he's in normal difficulty. He's in Act 1. Uh, he's It's before you get to Act 2. So Act 2 is like level 15, right? So you could very easily farm Bone Ash in normal difficulty a couple times. Uh, probably maybe 10 or 20 times and probably get your hands on a Razor Tine Fushina from him. That's a, that's a really good choice. 
Um, Dark Elder is also in Lost City. Um, he is very easy to get to. Uh, you just take the waypoint to Lost City and look around, and he's usually near the Ancient Tunnels waypoint, uh, Ancient Tunnels entrance, but not always. Uh, Beetle Burst is also always in Far Oasis. He's a little bit more difficult to find, but he's always in Far Oasis. Uh, very easy to uh, farm him. Summoner, not very easy to farm. He's always, you know, you gotta, you gotta guess which pathway he's on, which is not helpful. <laughs> anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Even Mr. Nini is crawling around in my shirt like a stomach alien. And, uh, as always, keep watching.